Now, as many of you may already know uh, from the past week on Twitter, my account was suspended about five days ago. And by some divine miracle from on high, I was able to get my account back. But I just wanted to do a little recap of the events to break my two-week YouTube content dry spell. Try and uh, see if I can't squeeze a few views out of this thing since I've already milked it for Twitter likes by posting 3,000 tweets about it. <sighs> <coughs> okay, that cough was real. That wasn't, that wasn't for the camera. Holy shit. So let's go ahead and head on over to my computer and uh, we'll look at a couple tweets and just kind of break this thing down. Ow. Ow. And here we are. So it started because I posted this tweet about Twitter slut bots being out of control, which they were that day. Just, you know, if you've been on Twitter for any amount of time, you know those Twitter bots <clears throat> that are the chicks retweeting all your popular tweets or whatever. And it's fucking annoying. So I posted that and scarce for... Uh, replied with suck me daddy I think because it's kind of a double entendre it's 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 a lot of times what the Twitter bots will say when they retweet quote your tweets they'll say stupid little phrases like that but I think the other half of it is that scarce was directing that towards me because he has a thing for older blonde guys with defined jawlines so I responded to him with a screen cap of the most recent Twitter slut bot in my mentions to keep the joke alive and he replied with I want to do it as goats now for me, the natural progression here is very obvious. You head over to Google Image Search, you type in goat sex, and you pull up, you know, a quick picture of goats having sex, and you throw it as a reply to that tweet just to keep the drive alive. You know what I'm saying? Keep meme going on Twitter, uh, you know, especially when you're interacting with someone as uh, handsome and, 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 and relevant as John Scarce. You can't just let that shit fly away in the wind. Shit. Now, my initial idea was to just nab a picture of goats having sex, right? But for whatever reason, when you type in Twitter goat sex, um, excuse me, excuse me, and for whatever reason, when you type in goat sex in Google image search, uh, a lot of the pictures that come up are actually of humans having sex uh, with goats. <laughs> what the fuck so once again the internet gets the best of me and instead of just doing the goats having sex which probably wouldn't break tos because animals fucking i mean that's fine right that's not against the law but i decided to grab the one of uh what looks like uh someone in a third world country somewhere uh, taking a goat from behind and uh the rest is as they say <coughs> fucking stupid or history depends on where you grew up now my favorite part of this whole thing is that I was like at a Starbucks in between shifts at work. I was at like the one of the busiest weeks of my life at work. And I was just wrapping up and headed back into the night shift as I mo posted that tweet. And the way I found out was I was like walking from my car into the place where I work trying to post one last tweet. And it like wouldn't upload. It was a good tweet too. It was a car tweet. It was a, it was a video. It's lost now forever. But uh, it just wouldn't upload. It kept saying failed, failed, failed. And then finally like... I clicked on my account and it said, your account has been suspended. <laughs> and that was it. That was, that was it. So I had to kind of like accept that and then head into work and put the game face on uh, and realize, you know, whatever. I, I Ultimately, I get it. It's a fucking Twitter account. It's like 24,000 followers. There are bigger things in life to be really worried about. But I was a little bit... Uh, distressed, I guess, to say the least. You know, I had spent several months trying to make decent content, cool meme songs, building up this account, and then at the snap of a fingers, because I uh, took the liberty of posting a, just a touch of bestiality, I mean, just a, just a, mwah, scotch of bestiality on Twitter, just fucking all snagged away from me in a matter of moments. So I get to work, work my shift, fucking bounce out of there, head home, it's like midnight, and I just try and deal with it then. Now, I talked to John, and John, let me just, for the record, is a very nice guy. Uh, he felt bad about what happened. Obviously, he had nothing to fucking do with it, other than I was replying to him. I'm the one that posted the picture. Uh, now, a little sidebar here. I do imagine that someone had to have reported the tweet, because I don't think Twitter just picks that shit up randomly. So to whoever it was that went ahead and um, reported that, uh, actually, 
I get no fuck you, you fucking, fucking loser. loser. Anyways, we were chatting about it, and I didn't really think I was going to get my account back, and I don't think he did either. I mean, based on what we saw with Pyrocynical and the fuckers in the past several months. Rest in peace, God bless. Just a lot of people getting suspended and not really having any success getting their account back. So I was just kind of starting to uh, come to grips with having to just fucking say goodbye to that one. My fucking account's been hacked. I got it back and now it's been suspended and I got it back. So I'm feeling good. Two strikes. Third time's a charm though. I gotta watch my mouth. Hey, watch your mouth. Hey guys, Nick here. Come watch me stream and suck some fucking dicks while I shoot loads all over myself while I'm streaming. It's Hey Watch Your Mouth Nick here. That's a terrible, that's a terrible impression of Nick, sorry. No, but anyways, out of the graciousness of his fragile teenage heart, John was like, yeah, man, just, uh, I feel bad. I'll, 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 I'll talk about this shit in my new video and I'll, I'll shout out your alt account and uh, see if we can get your followers back up. So, uh, John, thank you for your graciousness. Uh, graciousness. Thank you for your graciousness. Thank you for your graciousness. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, to everyone else in the community too, like when my account fucking ate shit, everyone was reaching out, retweeting, and uh, means the fucking world, you know? It's like, uh, it's an interesting place, the Twitter community and this YouTube community. I feel like everyone is, uh, not everyone, but like a lot of people are just at each other's throats all the time. And it's like, people destroying other people and calling other people out and it's like it's just nice sometimes to see uh people kind of coming together around creators that they know or that they're friends with um and i was on the receiving end of that much love for me man just so appreciative of uh of all the love and all the support from uh, all you guys so thank you thank you thank you for that now not everyone was supportive uh, of leon lush and i get it you know i've had a little friction along the way with certain creators and it's understandable, you know, not everyone enjoys the same flavors as everyone else, and that's fine. Now, I saw this tweet made about me in regards to my Twitter account suspension, and I just thought it was kind of cute, so I wanted to share it. Uh, and I'm not going to say the person's name because I'm not about that life, you know, I'm not trying to call people out in my YouTube videos. But I uh, just thought the tweet was worth looking at, but give me a second, actually. It was Brett Bong. He's actually a humongous fucking loser. So in the four days I was on the alt account, uh, with the help of John and all the love that you guys in the community uh, showed me, I was able to get the alt account up to like 9,000 followers, uh, which was remarkable. Um, and then last night at like 3 a.m., some dude tweeted me and was like, oh, Leon, you got your account back. So I logged in and fucking there it was. My OG Leon Lush account was unsuspended and all was right in the world. Now I want to talk about the Twitter appeal because I feel like this was probably an integral part of why I got my account back. I mean, part of it was because this was a first offense, but in the Twitter appeal, uh, it, it's easy to kind of be like, to want to send them a message like, hey, fuck you, faggot, give me my account back, lol. But that's not gonna do any good. So I just, I was fucking honest and candid in my appeal. Uh, I tried to write it as best I could. And I was just like, listen, uh, I've spent several months kind of building up this account and I've built a lot of really cool relationships uh, with people through your platform. I have a lot of fun making content that people seem to enjoy. Uh, and I understand that I fucked up by posting that picture. I learned my lesson. Give me another shot. Thanks very much, Mr. Leon Lush, sincerely. Wasn't trying to suck their dick. I was just being honest with them because I didn't really want to lose the account. Now, it's easy to lose perspective, right? Like I know in the grand scheme of life or just being uh, uh, someone that's uh, a personality online, you know, losing a Twitter account, big deal. It, it may or may not <clears throat> affect your brand too badly. But for me, like my situation's a little bit unique as a YouTuber. Um, I've kind of had that my fucking YouTube account was like dead for so many years after I posted all those music covers in the past and then just let it sit and I wasn't doing YouTube for years and years. And then Twitter was the reason uh, that my YouTube started to pick up a little bit because I started to fuck around with people in the community on Twitter and started making some cool relationships and building a following there and that kind of leaked over and started to, to bring my YouTube back to life. So I see a lot of YouTubers that are like YouTubers first and they use their Twitter sometimes and their you know Twitter following versus their YouTube following isn't even fucking close and they tweet like once a week. Where in my case, <clears throat> Twitter was kind of what helped put me on the map a little bit for a lot of people. 
and, and that kind of carried over into YouTube and gave me uh, motivation to keep uploading to YouTube again and uh, so on and so forth. So to lose the Leon Lush account would have just sucked. I would have dealt with it, but <sighs> he just ate. He's getting a little burpy. So this was a fun little hiccup in the process that I'll be able to look back on and laugh uh, and appreciate down the road. I don't know exactly where the road's going, uh, but I do know that I want to continue to get better and continue to make more content. I get a lot of feedback about people wanting more music-related stuff, which I'm committed to doing. It just takes uh, a lot of work, and I'm working full-time, so I, I do what I can, but excuses are for fucking losers, so I'll make it happen. Uh, so please... If you feel inclined, leave a comment down below about the situation or if you have a question for me or if you want to know how to appeal a Twitter suspension, I'm charging $25. I'll write your Twitter suspension appeal for you. Uh, and then do me a favor, if you could just uh, do a couple dips in your computer chair, you want to get some blood rush into your upper body because then you're going to stand right up out of your chair and smash that motherfucking like button with your pelvis. If I can get 20,000, nope, nope, sorry, I'm not at Chubbs' level yet. If I can get 1,000 likes in the first week, I will never make another tweet or video about being suspended on Twitter again. Okay, take care, everyone. I love you. Oh.